Hi everyone, Sean with jazbeescasebreaks.com here doing 1920 Panini Status Asia T-Mall 5 box break. Pick your team number 4, last 5 boxes from this case. I don't know if we have any more out there, so we'll see. Uh, it's been really nice stuff so far. Where we're also giving away the Pelicans. How to be entered in the Pelicans, buy 2 or more teams in the break, get entered to win. No max entries, 2 teams, 1 entry, 4 teams, 2 entries, 6 teams, 3 entries, etc. If you only buy 1 team, good luck with that 1 team, but it will not get you a spot for the Pelicans. All cards ship. Really nice stuff. So here is our list of customers and their corresponding teams. And the Pelican spot wide open. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy the customer list into a new spreadsheet and alphabetize it so that we can figure out how many spots everybody got. So Billy gets one. John gets one. Let's go backwards. Copy, not cut. Uh, Greg, with eight spots, gets four. We'll use the last spot mojo spot for you. See if it brings you some luck in this one as well. Uh, Joshua gets two. Kyle gets one. Mark gets one. Mike, one. Mojo, no, but thank you. And Richard, with three. There you go. So we've got 14 spots in this one, and it's the name on top after a five and a four nine times. Ninth and final time, congratulations, Joshua Browning. You got yourself the Pelicans for the break. Nine times on the randomizer, nine times on the dice. And Josh ended up on top. So, let's throw you right there, Josh. Congrats. Now, let's print and rip. Last five boxes. They were meant to be. No, they definitely need to bolster that offensive coordinator position. Uh, Shane Steichen's already out. Honestly, I really want him to keep Pep Hamilton, who pretty much developed <laughs> Herbert throughout the season. Um, so, we'll see. I, I And the thing is, honestly, I was upset at first when they announced, like, my brother texted me. He's like, dude, really? And then somebody in the chat told me, Joe. So I think it was on Sunday. And I was upset, but I was like, okay. Well, that sucks. But then I went home. Yeah, Pep Hamilton. He he's he's incredible. Like go look at his the lineage of coach uh, of quarterbacks that he's worked with. Nuts. But um, he. Uh, but like after I started thinking about it and everything, I was like, you know, I was like, it's crazy how they um. Like, I was like, it makes sense. Like, remember last year, I wanted Isaiah Simmons with the number six overall pick because I wanted to bolster our defense and make our defense so good that even with a halfway decent offense, as long as we held offenses, uh, other offenses to a, such a low amount of points, we would be in every single game and we would win most of them. So now that we have a much better than decent offense with Herbert, who... Seems like even with a, uh, an idiot running the offense, we'd still be able to muster some points. It actually does make sense to kind of go heavy on the defensive side with what he's able to do. And apparently, he, I mean, he schemes a new defense for every single game based off of the opponent, which, I mean, seems like a no-brainer, but Gus Bradley didn't do that. See, don't, still don't get the reference, Joe. Haven't seen Godfather, remember? Good luck, everybody. Kevin Durant, Golden State Warriors edition. Joshua Browning. Chris Middleton, Milwaukee Bucks. He's crushing it, Joshua Browning. Lonzo Ball, 
Pelicans, Joshua Browning. Kyle Lowry, Raptors, Bill Doherty. Matisse Thibel, 76ers, Greg Whaley. Colin Sexton for the Cavaliers, Greg Whaley. Lonzo Ball to 125 for the Pelicans, Joshua Browning and Steph Curry, upper echelon. Golden State Warriors, uh, Joshua Browning. No, I like them. I enjoy them. It's just not like a... I don't know. But I do need to find... I do need to watch that. Okay, so Joe. I know that you're a... You, you believe in, in... You believe in Gruden. But I saw a stat the other day that said John Gruden is the only coach... To not make the play, not make the postseason, the last three seasons, on any team, and still can keep his job. How much longer does he actually have? I know it's ten years. What was it ten years? Hundred million? So ten million a year? Something stupid. But he's the only coach in the league to, for his team to not make the playoffs over the last three seasons and still keep his job. I don't know. But how much slack? So, so what's what's your cutoff? Like, do you give him a, a whole another two years, and if he doesn't make it, once. Tyler Hero, nice one for the Heat, Mike Weiss. RJ Barrett, another nice pink. Knicks, Greg Whaley, last spot mojo. Giannis, upper echelon. That's not the same regular colored one. Not numbered, but I like the light blue on that. Milwaukee Bucks, Joshua Browning. Mo Bamba for the Magic. Kyle Abode. Kendrick Nunn to 125 for the Miami Heat. Mike Weiss. And Kawhi Leonard, upper echelon. This is the normal, so I'm not sure what parallel it is, but it looks really good. Uh, for the Clippers, Richard Johnson. Kawhi Leonard. Clippers, Richard Johansson. DeAnthony Melton for the Grizzlies. Greg Wa Whaley. LeBron James, Cleveland Cavaliers. Greg Whaley. John Morant, new beginnings. First one of those I've seen. Grizzlies, Greg Whaley. Dylan Brooks, Grizzlies. Uh, and Greg Whaley. So what's your So what do you what do you think? I mean, that's a lot that's a lot of money to pay a guy to to not make let's say he doesn't make the, the playoffs for two more years. That's a that's fifty million dollars you paid you paid him to coach a team to not, not make the playoffs for five years in a row. And then 
let's say. I mean, how many years? It's a 10-year contract, I believe, right? Wasn't it 10 years, 10 million a year? $100 million overall? That's a ton of money. Especially because he's had control of the coaching and who he wants in what spots for these last couple years, you know? Playoffs matter! Oh. Playoffs matter. You can't, I mean... At one point, they have to say. I don't know what the, what his terms of his contract was, but when I heard that it was 10 years, $100 million, I was like, what? Yeah, but I mean, consistently 8-8 consistently eight and eight or not making the playoffs is not good. Like, consistency is a good thing. Yeah. You guys aren't going to extend. You're not going to extend Der Derek Carr at all, right? Kevin Garnett, Timberwolves, John Samuelson. Ignas Brazdikis for the Knicks. Greg Whaley, last spot mojo. Ben Simmons, 76ers. Greg Whaley, Trey Young, second year. Hawks, Patrick Cologne. Zion. Pelicans, Joshua Browning, spot he won. Just for having two teams in the break. Rui Achimura, Wizards, Mike Weiss, Keldon Johnson, Pink, for the Spurs, Richard Johansson, and R.J. Barrett, last spot mojo again, Greg Whaley, John Morant, Memphis Grizzlies, Greg Whaley, Admiral Schofield for the Wizards, nice pink there, Mike Weiss, upper echelon, Giannis, uh, for the Bucks, Joshua Browning. Kobe White for the Bulls, Greg Whaley. Wendell Carter Jr. for the Bulls, Greg Whaley. LeBron James, Heat Edition, Mike Weiss, Giannis, Bucks, uh, Joshua Browning. Pascal Siakam to 125 for the Raptors, Bill Doherty. There you go. I mean, I hate John Gruden. I hated him before he was a Raiders coach. Actually, he was a Raiders coach back in the day, too. Hated him then. I think the inventions of Gruden Grinders is just the most absurd... Uh, what's it called when the two words start with the same letter and kind of go into the same? Alliteration. I hate that alliteration. Gruden's Grinders. Stupidest thing ever. Hate all all about it. The fact that he's now a long term Raiders coach just makes it me hate him even worse. I didn't even like him when he was a Buccaneers. He has that stupid little scowl on his face. Like he's trying to smell the outside of his lip or something like that. Oh, 
Gruden is extremely hateable. Extremely hateable. Doesn't take away from him being a good coach. But he's extremely hateable. Yeah, I think that was a dumb deal, though. No, I, and that's the thing is, I mean, contracts always stand that will will stand the test of time. But that that whole contract being standing the test of time thing is a kind of a, a terrible argument. Rams fans have been making that argument about Jared Goff's contract for years now. By the time that his contracts, you know, in his last two years, it'll be a deal, a steal compared to what the other top quarterbacks are making. Guess what? He's still Jared Goff. John Morant, Memphis Grizzlies, Greg Whaley, Jason Kidd for the Mavericks, Mark Bissett, RJ Barrett for the Knicks, Greg Whaley, Cody Martin, Hornets, Richard Johansson, Kobe White for the Bulls, Greg Whaley. Eric Bledsoe, Milwaukee Bucks, Joshua Browning, Giannis for the Bucks and Joshua Browning, Nasir Little to 125 for the Trailblazers. That's going to John Samuelson and Giannis again for the Bucks and Joshua Browning. Carson Edwards for the Celtics, Greg Whaley. John Morant, pink. Ooh. Very nice. Grizzlies, Greg Whaley. LeBron, Heat Edition. Mike Weiss. Zion. For the Pelicans, Joshua Browning, spot he won just for having two teams. Paul George. Clippers, Richard Johansson. Another nice box there. Yeah, no, I, I get what you're saying, Joe. It's just, I mean, if you set the precedent on, like, let's say that... How many how many years is uh, Gruden in on his contract right now? But how many years is uh, Gruden into his contract? And how many years does he have left? <coughs> and last box, guys. He's been there at least three or... Is this his fourth or fifth year? This is either his fourth or fifth year. No, no, I agree. I agree. What, what I'm saying though is, if you set if you set a precedent like that, and you pay a guy ten million dollars, right? And four years into his contract, somebody's already you know succeeded. Yeah, you're doing real good, Greg. That uh, that uh, John Morant pink is pretty good. Uh, let's see if we can find you some more. What's up, Brendan? How are you, man? Your Knicks are hitting, too. I don't think we had any RJ Barrett color yet, right? Your Bulls, you had the, uh, some nice uh, Kobe White there. Yeah, you're doing pretty decent. I mean, you got some good teams, so... I'm glad it's, it's working out. Do you ever see the Raiders doing what they did last time with him and trading him?
Jalen Noel for the Timberwolves, John Samuelson. Marc Gasol, Toronto Raptors, Bill Doherty. Anthony Davis, upper echelon pink for the Lakers and Joshua Browning. LeBron James, also for the Lakers and Joshua Browning. And Tyler Hero, Miami Heat, Mike Weiss. Hakeem Olajuwon, pink for the Rockets. Uh, Richard Johansson. Mufondu Kavangeli, pink for the Clippers. Richard Johansson. Let's finish it off with something big. Damian Lillard, Blazers, John Samuelson. Deonta Murray to 125 for the Spurs. Richard Johansson, and that'll do. LeBron James, upper echelon. Lakers, Joshua Browning. Nice way to finish it. You had a LeBron and uh, Anthony Davis pink upper echelon in this one box for you, Josh. So nice way to end it for you and for the break. It's the first LeBron upper echelon I've seen. That was 2019-2020 Panini Status Asia T-Mall 5-Box Break. Pick your team, number 4, from jaspyscasebreaks.com. I'm Sean, jaspyscasebreaks.com. Uh, Thanks for hanging out, and I'll see you next time.